Blow dry brushes make it so easy to have the shiny, polished hair that you want without having to learn the old brush and blow dryer way. In an ideal world, you follow this routine, which takes about 25 minutes, and then you have amazing, shiny, polished hair for the next three days. The good news is that for most people, there's no reason to learn how to blow dry the old way with a blow dryer and a brush. Yes, this will give you a better result, but it takes forever to learn, and you can get a similar result with a blow dry brush. So unless you want to be a stylist, or if you're just a super hair nerd like me, then I just recommend go with a blow dry brush. If you don't know me, my name is Chris. I have a hair salon called Live Love Locks. We test out every new product and I bring the best ones to you. I make these videos because way too many people have unhealthy hair and I don't want you to be one of them. So first things first, you have to pick which blow dry brush you actually want to use. Products are my thing. I haven't had time to try out every single blow dry brush. So do your research, but here's a couple things to keep in mind. You don't have to spend a ton of money. This Revlon is actually super cheap and it gives a really good result. One thing I have noticed is the more expensive ones do tend to last longer. So get whatever's in your budget, whatever you're comfortable with, but whatever you do, don't get the Dyson Airwrap. It's terrible. All right, so you have your blow dryer brush. Now we're gonna go into what you're actually going to do step by step. So the first rule of styling is to always style your hair on the day that you wash it. Yes, dirty hair will hold a curl longer, but that's more for like weddings and stuff like that. We're talking day to day here, so you always wanna style on the day that you wash your hair. First reason for that is because your hair will look better and it'll last longer. When your hair is wet, it's pliable. It will do whatever you want. If you wait a day or two and sleep on your hair and let it get frizzy and let it get all crazy, when you try and go back in there and style it, it's going to fight you and it's gonna to wanna to go back to that crazy shape. So it's much better to style when the hair is still wet. Styling on wash day also means that you get to wear it the longest. There's no point waiting until day two or three to style your hair because you're just about to wash it again anyway and you're not gonna get the full value out of your effort. So back to the routine. Let's pretend that you just washed your hair, you just got out of the shower and you've towel dried your hair. You're now ready to start the routine. So the first product you use is always going to be a leave-in conditioner. Use this on your towel dried hair first. It's gonna lock in all the moisture from your conditioner so your hair stays hydrated and healthy. And it's also gonna help you detangle. Your second product is always going to be your blow dry cream and you're gonna pick it based on the result that you want to get. So if you want lots of volume and body, you're gonna pick Red Ken's Big Blowout. If you want a super sleek and smooth style, you'll pick Olaplex number six or if you wanna get rid of frizz, if you have naturally frizzy hair, Red Ken's Rebel Tame will help with that. All of these products have heat protection and they'll improve the texture of your style immensely. And better texture means your style lasts longer before it gets gross and you have to wash it again. These products are absolutely mandatory. If you try and do it without these, it's gonna look off, it's gonna be frizzy, and it's not gonna last as long, and you're also not gonna have any heat protection. And after putting those two products into your hair, you're going to use a regular blow dryer. But don't worry, it's just for a second and there's no brush involved. You're just gonna use this to rough dry your hair so it's not quite as wet. You hear a lot of people say, get the hair 80% wet, and I absolutely hate it when people say it, as if there's like some magic water measuring device where you can tell the exact percentage in your hair. Nobody knows what the percentage is. You can't do that. It doesn't work like that. What you wanna do instead, and this is different for everyone, is stop rough drying when you see frizz start to form. So if you have really frizzy hair, you don't wanna use this very much, or maybe you just don't use it at all. If you have hair that's naturally pretty straight and doesn't frizz very much, you can rough dry a ton and get it almost dry. So again, forget about percentages and go by when you start to see frizz. You would never go to a steakhouse and say to your waiter, my steak is 20% too dry. Can I have another one? Just rough dry until you start to see signs of frizz. But one last thing to remember is the water is underneath. So you don't want to rough dry like this. You want to rough dry from the underneath. Pull your hair up, get the water that's under there. After you're done rough drying, you're going to take a wet brush and you're going to detangle your hair and it will also automatically help spread the product throughout your hair. You want to make sure you do a really good job of getting all the knots out because if you accidentally leave one in there it could turn into breakage later by you accidentally going through it too rough now let's take a step back that's all the prep work it takes like three to five minutes those things are super easy it takes no skill you may have to play around with the amount of product you need but after that all we have left to do is use this guy. Now quick story time here. The first time I tried this out, I didn't expect it to work. I'm always really skeptical of anything new. Anything that's too easy is usually too good to be true. But the thing is, this really works. It's not too good to be true. It's super easy. This is really the future of doing hair. So really, if you're not used to using a regular brush and a blow dryer, and it's just too hard for you, and even if you are used to doing that, this is just so much easier. You really are missing out if you don't use one of these. All right, so let's actually get into how you use this. 
First off, your hair is totally ready. We already went all over that. What you're gonna do now is take small sections. Small sections are easier. If you're skilled and you really know what you're doing, you can take bigger sections, but I really recommend you take small sections at first just until you get used to it. The process for going through each section is super, super easy. The one thing you wanna make sure to do is get nice and close to the root. If you leave the root wet, if you start out here, instead of starting on the root, your root's gonna look different and you're gonna have like this weird texture at your root and you can have nice, straight, sleek, smooth hair on your ends. So make sure, get close to the root. So starting from the root, you're gonna give it a little bit of a wrap and then just slide it down your hair with a little bit of tension. One thing you always wanna keep in mind when you're styling your hair is that whatever shape the hair dries in is the shape it's going to stay in. So if you pull it tight so it's straight and it dries that way, you're gonna lock in that nice straight shape which lasts much longer. If you don't keep it under tension, it's basically air drying the hair and it's gonna get frizzy and look bad really quickly. And the awesome news here is that's all you have to do. You're just gonna do that exact same motion over and over until the section is done. And that's actually what we're gonna go into next because you need to know when the section is done because that will make or break your blowout. The only real mistake you can make with this is not realizing when you should stop on a section. If you stop too early and the hair is still wet, it's gonna start to frizz out again and it's gonna look dull and it's not gonna give you that nice shiny look. On the other side, if you keep using this on a section that's already done and already dry, you're gonna end up doing a ton of damage to your hair. You're gonna have a horror story to tell all of your friends. So I have some top secret knowledge so that you know exactly when your section is done so you don't mess up in either of those ways and all you have to do is know what to look for. You think that what you're looking for is dryness in the hair, but that's where most people mess up. It's actually really, really hard to tell exactly how dry a section is. Instead, what you're going to do is actually go by temperature. And if you go by temperature, you will never ever do any damage to your hair. Super easy. The next time you use a blow dryer or this, what I want you to do is feel your hair after you go through one pass. You'll notice that it isn't hot at all. So do another pass, feel it again, still not gonna be hot. So what does this mean? It means that your hair will not get hot until it's dry, and we can use this information to our benefit in two different ways. Number one, if you feel the hair and it's warm or hot, you know that the section is dry. It's done, move on to the next section, you're all good here. We also know that if we stop when it gets warm, we won't be doing any heat damage to the hair. And follow me on this, the only way to damage hair with heat is for it to actually get hot. So we don't let it get hot, we stop when it's warm. So the moral of the story here is we're going to pay 100% attention to the temperature of the hair. Number one, it's gonna save you time because you'll know exactly when you're done with the section. You won't have to do it an extra couple times just to make sure. And number two, if you feel the hair is hot and for some dark reason, you continue to keep going over it with the heat, your hair is going to burst into flames. And no, it's not really gonna burst into flames, but it might as well because you're gonna get a ton of damage. It's gonna break on you. You're gonna lose a ton of hair. It's gonna be a whole thing for you. So just stop when it gets warm. Don't get it hot and definitely don't keep going after it's hot. So here's what that's gonna look like. You're gonna use your non-brush hand to feel the hair. Every time you do a pass, you use this hand to feel the hair and make sure it's not hot. Unfortunately, a lot of people have been telling me that they've been using this on dry hair and shame on you. And no, I'm just kidding. It's actually not your fault at all. There's nothing on the box. There's nothing on the directions that tells you not to use it on dry hair. There's basically no warning label at all. So a ton of people have done a ton of damage to their hair. And I just, I have a thing about directions on boxes. They should be correct and they should be right. And they should tell you if anything bad is gonna happen. So it's not your fault, it's the company's fault. So let's just take a step back here. That's really the strategy for everything here. You have your prep work and then you have this guy where all you need to do is stop when the hair gets warm. That's basically everything here. If you follow this, your hair is gonna come out amazing. It's gonna be super easy. Just remember that when it's warm, stop. Don't let it get hot. Remember to use a blow dry product, some type with built-in heat protection. And also make sure to use tension as you go down your hair with the blow dry brush. If you do those things correctly and it's really easy to do them correctly, all you really have to do is remember them. Your hair will come out super shiny, super sleek, super straight like you were just at a salon. And the best part is your style should last for days. So if you do this twice a week, you'll have amazing looking hair for the rest of your life and you never had to bother learning how to do it the old fashioned way. So try this out the next time you do your hair. I'm super excited for you. This is easy mode. This should change your hair big time. I'll leave a link to the products in the description below. And if you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll make sure to get back to you. Have a good one guys.